Because we are youth for Christ, many, many people often come to us and ask us about evangelism. What is good evangelism? What does interpersonal evangelism look like? And I want to give you a very, very simple outline that we've been using around the world about evangelism. The first thing that we need to do is we need to demonstrate the gospel. Demonstrate the gospel. In other words, we need to be salt and light. We need to be the gospel and be the love of Christ. We need to be so different and so unusual that people will come to us and say, what's on about you? What's different about you? And then we can point to Jesus. So we demonstrate the gospel. And then we need to declare the gospel because as people ask us why we're different, we say we're different because of the love of God. Because apart from God, I'm a scoundrel. So God working in and through me. So we're demonstrating the gospel. We're declaring the gospel. And then we need to bring people to a point of decision. You can be changed as well by this mighty power of God. Do you want God to work in your life and to have lordship in your life? And last but not least, we need to disciple people. So we're demonstrating the gospel, we're declaring the gospel, we bring people to a point of decision, and then we disciple them. In other words, we grow them and nurture them and admonish them in the power of God. All of these four D words that I just described, we do in dependent relationship upon God. Apart from Him, we can do nothing. So all evangelism is desperately dependent upon the wooing power of the Holy Spirit. And last but not least, one last D for you, Every time we do evangelism, we bring delight to the heart of God. God smiles as we share his goodness with a needy world around us. And that is Youth for Christ.